for Gaming YGO. Today we're here with um, players that just made top eight at regionals. Uh, we will now. Uh, what do you play today? Uh, pure Endymion. That's what's up. Uh, let's check out this list, guys. All right. So the start starters off. We got the three servant. Like obviously, you have to play this card. It's like amazing. It's one of the best cards you want to resolve for you like, to win the game. Three Magister. This card's too good like not to play at three. So it's just like interact from deck, high scale, it's always amazing. Three big endy. So obviously like negating stuff and just having a free big monster with counter just hard to deal with. It's just amazing. Two reflection, like I I hate playing three because like you don't you, you don't like opening two, but you like having extra targets for your deck. On top of like spot removal and just a nice low scale, nice, which really nice. gets in there. Then we got the mythical, mythical beast engine. We got the three jackal. Gotta play three jackal. It's fantastic. Negating free, free extender. Some your Cerberus. Help you push for game. Easy. And we got the two Cerberus, Bash, um, Garuda, and Basilisk. So this is the MST. This one, I can remove three counters from anywhere to grab a mythical beast from uh, face up or extra deck to hand. So you can get like three pluses that way and just use extra pendulums for like free counters for Electromite just to pop off of it. Or you can just use it for a discard fodder for IP. And this is really nice. Then you got like three Kono, Time Gazer. It's pretty nice when you can just shuffle this back off of Basilisk because it's pretty much like a Metal Close fusion effects. And it's just more extenders. There's actually a game come up where like Time Gazer actually protected its scale. So like the scale wouldn't even get popped. So it's really it's clutch. Then we got two Curtain Razor. Just another solid extender. Then we got the Blue Boy. The B Battelle. Because we, we play the spell book engine. We're cool. So that's all the monsters. We have like 25. Then we got the free mastery. It's like the best card, like the best three up for your deck. Fantastic. Great with opening servant and mastery. Then with the spellbook engine, we got two secrets, one knowledge. So we do the one, two, one. You only want to resolve knowledge once, and you only ever want to open this once. So that's why that's why you play that ratio. You got the two allure. You want to be able to dig. Like, you, like, be able to just get free counters and just drawing. It's not the best card. I always side it out. Then we got two Necro Valley and Secret Village. This main deck card was probably one of the best things I did for myself the entire weekend. Like, this helped me against, like, Orcus. This helped me against a lot of matchups. And it just helped stealing the games. Thunder and Salad just can't out this if they can't grind or have, like, just get there. Then we play the One Mythical Institution. The card's amazing. I love this card. Like, you can just move counters from anywhere, grab any monster from that to hand. So, in my game against the True Dino, I end up moving two counters just so I can grab this. And, like, be, I will pull myself like, out of a hole when I was trying to get into a better position. Then the rest of the one else, we got Reasoning, Desires, Forming, and Upstart, Hoban. No one ever called us right all week, uh, or all rounds, so fantastic. And I never banished any pieces off of Desire, so it was nice. So that was 41 for the main. Then we got the Electromite. Optimal play it. You, it's really nice to make it though. IP for the interaction. Crowley for the free plus, make any didn't make any two spellcasters, pretty much a free draw two engine. Phoenix for the um, anti spell. Draco Masters for the free extension. You make Electromite to make him so you get more arrows. Unicorn for the IP. Appaloosa also for the IP, just bigger board. Then we got the Boral Boys. Then, then we got the Dweller. Absolute like, vortex combo with that. And then we have the super poly targets. We got the pretty much all, all four. Except for Sky Striker. I only made this once in the whole game. Then that was with the extra. Uh, that was with the extra. Then the side. Played two Chaos Hunter. I never played against Thunder all day. And I'm only playing against Orcus 1, so it didn't really come up as much as I wanted to. But, like, let's see like, an example. And we got the 2 Nibiru. I was trying to find room, and I didn't want to just draw off the main. And it can just be clunky at times. So, like, it, it just ended up being a brick when, when you play 3 of it. 2 Danko. This card's fantastic. This one, it stole me a game against, like, um, my round 4. And pretty much, dude just sets 2 pass. I, rip, I just slam this dude, plays 4 extenders, and just wins the game. All right. Three super poly. We gotta be able to break Salad's boards if they're going first. Or Orcus. Or Thunder. <laughs> Two Cosmic Cyclone. This is for when like I don't know what I'm going against and I'm going second. I just want to spot removal. Then we got two Call by the Graves. These could have been system downs for the Orcus matchup, because getting it was just trying to find like a last minute um spot in it. 
Then we had the second secret village. Oh yeah. And then we had the one system down. Nice. The system down could have been call buys, but this never came in for help, and now they're super police. And for my rounds, it was we had Necros, then Gravekeepers, then World Chalice, Thunderpile, then Orcus, then Zombie, then lastly True King Dino. Nice. Well, that's very cool, man. Congrats on the top. Alright, thank you very much, man.